Okay, welcome to chapter five of the series 32 Jackpot Marketing Secrets of History's Greatest Persuaders with David Lowenthal. I'm David Lowenthal, and today we're going to be talking about a dweeby former NBC gift shop uh, employee who became the world's most important media personality, media influencer, um, and he never had any degree in journalism or media. I don't even think he went to college at all. He doesn't even write original stories, and yet from the mid to late 1990s on, he's been the single most important voice in journalism, in shaping the media narrative um, as, an, as an individual person who could possibly do that. Now, of course, I'm talking about Matt Drudge. Now, if you follow American politics at all, American media at all, you've no doubt come across uh, the personality of Matt Drudge. He is a media hound. He is a media obsessive, and he runs uh, the news website called The Drudge Report, which if you ever go to that site at drudgereport.com, it looks like a early to mid to late 90s uh, website that has not changed at all in the, um, in the interim. And I think that's, I don't think that's an accident. It still remains the easiest media site to access, in my opinion. Um, and it, it has gripping, it has one main headline and then a whole bunch of sub headline stories. But really that's all it is. It's a news aggregator website. And Drudge himself really does no independent reporting. He merely creates uh, sensational headlines and that is how he's able to dominate the media landscape, even in the age of you know, Twitter, Facebook, Google News, Apple News, all these kind of AI news aggregation websites. He's able to do that because he is brilliant at one thing and one thing, most importantly, creating headlines. And that's really what I want to talk to you today about, uh, about Matt Drudge and specifically how he's able to create headlines and how you can use many of the same principles to create great headlines. Now, if you go to the Matt Drudge site, you'll see this, this principle in action. And uh, I believe it was Eugene Schwartz who said, you know, a headline is merely the advertisement for your advertisement. That's it. Now, many people get confused because they think that the headline is meant to sell, is meant to, you know, have a great offer or to do some kind of uh, the job of an advertisement in and of itself. Not at all. The only job of a headline, doesn't matter if that headline is text or images or video or anything, if you have a headline at all, which you don't necessarily have to have it depending on your market and your product, whatever. But the headline, all it does is it sells the rest of the advertisement. That's it. Now Drudge does this in a just a myriad interesting ways because he always takes the headline and formats it in a way that can't be <laughs> it can't be irresist that that is irresistible can't be resisted. Just to show you some examples, let's take let's take one. Here's here's the headline: Union Gold? Question mark FBI hunt for Civil War treasure detailed in an unsealed affidavit. I mean, who wouldn't want to click on that? Let's see the words. Uh, gold, FBI, hunt, civil war, treasure, unsealed affidavit. I mean, it just has so many, that headline packs up so many important aspects of a great headline. Uh, mainly curiosity because it was the late great Harry, Gary Halbert who said that the greatest human emotion, the most tempting human emotion is not self-interest, it is not self-interest, it is curiosity. Curiosity is what will drive somebody to read your ad from the headline. 
that's then anytime you can build more and more curiosity is like it's going to be gold. It's going to be gold for your ad. It's going to be gold for your business. It's going to be gold for your nonprofit organization if you fundraise and all things like that. So Matt Drudge is a gold standard. And he, many people don't know this, but he's the one who actually broke the story of Monica Lewinsky and Bill Clinton. Time or Newsweek, I forget which one, but one of them actually had the story. They they sat on it because, of course, they're, you know, liberal journalists who are in the tank for the Dem Democratic Party, never do anything to, you know, harm the Democratic Party or liberals. They are, they're party apparatchiks, basically. But Matt Drudge, being in this new environment, realized that he actually could scoop them. He could he could get out in front of them, and that he leaked the story, and then they all had to play catch up. And that was the first time that everyone realized that we were in a new media landscape. And so, just by creating a website and having great headlines, great irresistible headlines. So, I I tell you all this to to know. Uh, to understand the power of great headlines. And in fact, Ken McCarthy, uh, the great Ken, Ken McCarthy, who many people consider to be the founding father of internet marketing, was talking with the great Ben Settle, who publishes email newsletter, email players newsletter. He, uh, Ken McCarthy was saying how in this day and age, especially with so much competition, your headlines have to be great. You cannot afford to have bad, bad headlines. And I would go as far to say that you should spend at least 80% of your copywriting time writing great headlines and just kind of testing these different headlines because that is your, your ad is going to sink or swim based on that. So if you take nothing away from this video, study Matt Drudge, study the Drudge Report, write down his headlines that, uh, that make you curious and try to deconstruct them and emulate them uh, according to your ad and see if you can draw on those same principles to write your ad. You can't copy, you can't swipe. That's not the way to do it. That doesn't work and it makes you look terrible. But you can draw upon the principles that Matt Drudge uses in media that you can use in either fundraising or selling or whatever it is you do. That is the important thing to take away. So Thanks for watching and tune in next time for the next chapter of 32 Jackpot Marketing Secrets.